All right, we need to have a bit of a rough conversation, but don't worry, I got you. I'm gonna walk you through it. As most of you know, some of the top crypto assets will no longer be here in the years to come. And that's something that always happens time and time again. You can literally go to CoinMarketCap and look at every single previous cycle and a lot of the top cryptos that were there weren't always there. But this time it could be Ethereum. And I'm starting to see a lot of that conversation happen, especially all over social media, X primarily because that's where all the crypto people are. And just today, just today, you guys, Ethereum dropped out of the five protocols by 24 hour fees, which is a little bit worrisome, but don't worry. I've got some alpha for you that will help you navigate this so you don't panic. As always, I'm Wendy O. This is The O Show. We talk everything crypto every single day. And if you want more, which I know you want more, make sure to like this video. Drop me a comment with your trading or investing plan. What are you most bullish on? I want to know. And of course, subscribe with all alerts set. So even though Ethereum dropped out of the top five for fees, that's not something to really panic about. But seeing Vitalik actively panic all over crypto Twitter, AKA crypto X is a little bit worrisome. Primarily because a lot of people are pressing him about Ethereum foundation and the mass amount of selling that they continue to do because it looks really, really, really bad on chain. And you don't see a lot of other projects doing it. At least if other projects are gonna do it, like Ripple or Solana, they have a designated time that they sell these crypto assets. And yes, projects do have to sell crypto to pay for various things. In Ripple, or in Ripple's case, they have that all specified for their employees and different things. For Solana, conferences, the team, et cetera. And with Ethereum, the foundation sells it, but they don't sell it at a specified time, which is really worrisome for a lot of people because people see whales or the Ethereum foundation dumping on the chart. And that's not really necessarily the case. They're taking these profits to pay for different things like upgrades, et cetera. But at the end of the day, it just looks really, really bad. Plus with brand new platforms like pump.fun that has really pushed Solana to the top, everybody's talking about it. A lot of people are really kind of abandoning ETH. And me personally, I'm not abandoning my Ethereum. Primarily why is because BlackRock has picked up Ethereum. And if BlackRock touches something, it's a very, 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 very small chance that it is going to go away. And also too, with that said, Solana still has some pretty big problems. The network doesn't always work all the time. And with Ethereum, in order for the network to work, you just need to add more gas, which could be expensive. But again, it's still pretty expensive regardless because all of the EIPs, the upgrades, are actually four layer twos like base and not actually Ethereum, which is a little bit problematic because people actually want to use a layer one that works. And then kind of going back to meme coins, it was also announced that GOAT, which is a Solana based AI coin, outpaced Pepe, growing to a $900 million market cap in two weeks. And Pepe reached a $1.4 billion market cap in 22 days. So a little bit different, but the same. But realistically, at the end of the day, a lot of the meta is on Solana just because it's a lot easier for people to use with products like Phantom Wallet. And plus two, their organization seems to be a little bit more user friendly. So what is my advice to you? Well, I actually don't have advice to you because I'm literally just a shock jock on the internet. I just kind of share my thoughts on different things. Me personally, I am holding Ethereum. I am holding Solana. And I'm dabbling a little bit here and there with meme coins, but primarily on like Moonshot just because it is a lot easier to navigate because all the contract addresses are there and it has a lot of different chains. It's got Solana, Ethereum, and a couple other ones as well. And I'm also just kind of keeping an open mind. And at the end of the day, just by holding either Ethereum, Solana, or just Bitcoin or whatever asset you feel comfortable with, you will probably outperform a lot of traders. And even though a lot of the excitement is on meme coins, please understand that 99% of these meme coins will probably go away. And even though there's a lot of people that are like, oh, we're done with the VC stuff, X, Y, and Z, that's kind of what meme coins are, but really done differently because you can actually go and trace the wallets and see who is holding what. And a lot of, excuse me, a large supply of these meme coins are actually held by insiders, similar to the ICOs and the VC sales. So at the end of the day, figure out a method that works for you and stick to it. And if you have to modify, do it. Pivoting is also a very good thing. Either way, I got you and we're going to make it guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.